Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt view in Google Sheets. And this Gantt view is going to um, show you the tasks and the duration of those tasks, but not only the duration, it's also going to be able to show you the task names um, in the, the bars, the, the duration bars that it creates. Um, now this only works in uh, Google Sheets, it's not going to work in Excel because there are some formulas that are unique to the way that, that Google Sheets works. So let's get started. Well, probably the best thing to do is just to show you how it works. So we put a task name here, start date, finish date, and then along the top here we're going to have our dates. So I'll just put the 1st of September. And then I'll just drag right along to create some dates. And I'll just format the dates. And I'm going to use this rotation so that once we make these columns of it, thinner, we can still see the dates. Okay, so let's put some tasks in. Task number one, task number two, then an early task, task number four. Okay, and we'll put some dates in for these tasks. Um, so we'll put in the 2nd of September until the 17th of September. The early task, I'm going to put in the date from August, and that's so that I can show you something later on. 25th of August to the 7th of September. So the first thing we need to do is we need to try and um, create the Gantt view, and that means that we can um, color in all the boxes, all the cells here that uh, represent these dates. So we can do that, just highlight some of this here, and we can do that with conditional formatting. So we just go to format, conditional formatting, and then choose custom formula and we type in a formula in here. Now there's two things that we need to check. We need to check the start date and the finish date and we need to check that the date that we have above falls at the start at the end or in between those two dates. So that means that our formula has to start with and. Um, now this formula so it's and and then E for uh, this column here. And then we want to fix, we want to, to um, make sure that when it's checking down here, it's still checking against the, the date up here. So we want to use the dollar sign just to fix that to number three. And we say that that's greater than or equal to the date that's in column C here, the start date. So we want to lock column C um, but then we want to say number four. And we do the same thing again, the same uh, date at the top. So that's E and B. And this time it is less than or equal to then our finish date, which is in column D. And we want to lock column D, but not lock the, the row, which is number four. This um, this formula. Don't worry if you if you can't remember this formula because I can never remember it myself. I always have to go through various steps to get it right. So let's close that, and when we close that, it's automatically updated, and we can see that it's already filled those things in. I'll just change the color 
to a different color because green for me represents that these these tasks are complete and they may not be complete so we'll change it to a light color so that we can see the the text once we put the text on and we'll click on done and that's us finished with the conditional formatting so the next thing we need to do is we need to try and get the task name that's over here into um, into these bars, preferably at the start of these bars. So we could fill this whole bit with formulas, um, that check, and then p pull in this, this uh, text. What happens when you do that is that um, the text will appear here, but it will be cut. It will be cut off, and you'll only see a small bit of the text, and you won't see the rest of the text appear in here. So we can use something that is unique to um, Google Sheets, and that is that we can use an array formula. Now, array formulas are not unique to Google Sheets, but the way that an array formula is entered into the sheet is um, different from the way that they are entered in on Microsoft Excel. Uh, the, array, the, the formula will not appear in any of these cells. So I'll show you how that works. What we're going to do is insert a column in here. We need to put the array formula down here. We, we can't put it above the dates because it will the date will interfere with the array formula. So we need to put it underneath the date. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the second column because we're going to put a different formula in the first column and, then, and we'll see why later on. But we're going to start in, in the second column. And up here, we're going to put in equals and then array formula. And if what we need is F, that's what we need. F3 equals, and then we want to check it against the column C, the start date. So because it's an array formula, we're going to do the whole of column C down from row number four. And we can do that in Google Sheets just by doing C4 and then C and that will go right to the very bottom. So what we're doing is, if that is equal to that, then we're gonna take the value from column B, that's our task, task name. And again, we have to, because it's an array formula, we have to put in the full thing there. And then if it's neither of those if it doesn't equal that, then we're going to do nothing. We need to put in that nothing because if we don't, um, then it will return false and we'll have a, a whole column of false. So now that we've done that, we can see our task name has appeared there. And if we have locked all of the, got our formula correct and we've locked all the right things and done it all the right way, then we cross our fingers and we pull right across to here and our other tasks appear there. So the only thing we have to sort out now is this early task and that's the task that started. This, these ones we're only checking for the start date so this is not when the start date is. So we need to um, do a different check because there's no use not putting in the, the name, we want to see the name there, even though we can't see the start of the the uh, task. So we go into the first one here and we put in a slightly different formula. And so it's still an array formula. Put in an equal sign. Array formula, and this time it's F. And this time it is column E, three is greater than or equal to C, 
for and to see what's the start date now in our conditional formatting we used an and statement to say if um, it's greater than and it's less than then um, color in the cells we can't use an and statement in an array formula so what we can do though is we can use two if statements so what we're saying is that if this is true then we check if the other part of the the formula is true so that's if and we're checking e3 again e3 is less than or equal to our end date which is e4 to e and if that is true then we're going to put in our task name which is in column b so that's b4 to b we make sure we lock all those things and if it's not true we show nothing we close that if statement and then we show nothing for the first if statement and then we close that and then we close our array formula and hopefully if we've done this correctly we should see a task in there so we can now add more tasks And they should automatically go into the system no matter what their date is, as long as the date is within the range that we're looking at. One thing we can do once we finish this, what I forgot, is we can hide, hide that row. So I hope you find that helpful.